Greg, so right now more than 6,000 people are without power. And for many, this is their second night in the dark. Snohomish PUD says crews will work throughout the night to restore power. The county has six overnight cold weather shelters, and at least one is filling more beds than ever. It's done saved some lives. James Dahlquist has been coming to Bethlehem Lutheran Church in Marysville on cold nights since it opened its doors last year. This time last year, I was hospitalized for hypothermia. Uh, they didn't have, you know, something this close. It was way up on Highway 9. Since then, he spread the word of a warm place to stay and a hot meal and helped fill these beds. You know, a lot of them are, you know, they still stay out there because that's that's where they're from. Uh, they're more comfortable that way, but uh, it makes me feel really good about myself that, uh, you know, I might have saved somebody. And Tuesday night, the shelter filled a record amount. Last night is our biggest night so far, which was 27. Uh, we only have beds for 30, so we're really close to capacity. Cold weather shelters open when temperatures are expected to drop below 34 degrees. Marysville Shelter has opened its doors 20 days this month and expects to fill more than 300 beds just for November alone. That's 100 more than the entire season last year. It's a little overwhelming at times. Um, trying to make sure that we have staff to be able to open. But gratifying as shelters on cold nights like these are critical. I truly believe that we're saving lives with what we're doing here. One thing that brings more people in is it's one of the only shelters that allows pets. If I was to say, well, you can come in, but your child can't, you're probably not going to come in. It's the same pe thing for our guests who are coming in with their pets because those pets are their children. Marysville cold weather shelter is preparing to stay open for up to three weeks before getting a break. Snohomish PUD is hoping to have a substantial amount of power restored by mid to late afternoon tomorrow, but that's all dependent on weather tonight. For now, live in Snohomish County, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.